a good dreary morning to you. So we're going inside again today. I'm going to see if we can get that all insulated and weather tight inside so it'll hold some heat. We also look at this. Had the roofing arrived for this side and that side. Maybe we'll get, get at that in the next day or two. But for now, let's go inside. This should, these, this wall should go pretty easy because it's all square or uh, square cuts or rectangular, you might say. There's a little bit of an angle up at the top, so I need to, I beveled that a little. Perfect. Perfectly snug. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. That'll draw in. Okay. 16 and a half. 16 and a half and the same same length, 64. And will it fit? Snug. Wow, I guess it fits. Okay, next. And I cut these two. And they fit, that one does anyway. Nice. One more and this side is done. Will it fit? So far. Good. All right. Done. Let's go over and do this side. And it begins. Uh -huh -huh -huh. Ooh. open there. I'm going to have to, I guess, cut some of that. Uh, cut a sliver in there. Maybe spray foam. 16 and 3 eighths. Huh, same. What? And next. Oh. Oh. Uh, bend it. Bend it and get it in, it in there. Perfect. <laughs> Next. Oh, this is the same as the other side. Twenty four by twenty six and a half times two. Two more. Let's see. Well, we are going great guns, we being me. I have three sides almost completely insulated. I just have a little bit to do over here. We're going to stop because finally the metal coil stock that's been on order for uh, about six, six weeks for the, the side roofing is in. So I want to get that on to protect that as quick as I can. So we're going to, going to go back outside and work for a, a while. This is kind of like a, a big reveal. This is going to be the roofing on the sides. I think I mentioned that. Oh yeah. Come on, there it is. Not sure where it had to come from that, that took six weeks, but 
we probably had to make it. It's probably not a common color, I think. this fan mail fan mail from some flounder oh an invoice $245 for that roll mm. okay let's go cut some coil stock spot right there. I guess I got to cut that out. Easy as that. Now I forgot my measurement. Be right back. So the, the measurement of the exact measurement was 10 feet, three and a quarter. I'm going to do, I have to hang over an inch so I can bend that down on each side. So I'm going 10 feet, five and a quarter. My tape only goes to 10 feet. So I've got to pull, I'll have to uh, measure with the tape. Perfect. So it should be, I can cut it right in half all the way and that will be good one for each side out of a little over 10 feet of stock. So I'll set this for cut at 12 inches. These just catch the metal after it gets cut. quarters. There we go. Yeah, it looks like it's just barely long enough to, to cut it. Wow, it doesn't usually go that hard. or something. Okay. All right. So I'm done with those. Uh, I can leave those. So I want an inch just under actually about three quarters. I don't know if you can see that. This is three quarters if I come right out to there. So if I go something like that, it should be in good shape. Boy, that is just, there is no more 
No more room. Oh, I can hear a flock of geese flying over. Wonder if we can see them. That's a sign of winter coming. They're heading south. Where was I? <laughs> All right, that's good there. That's good. Now I'll just put a 90, not quite a 90. I want it to kind of allow for a drip coming out. Probably go something like that. So I have to put a bend on each end, one inch. That should be fun because I can't, I don't have the room to turn it and put it into the brake. Okay, well, let's go. I guess we'll bend the other one. Then we'll go deal with that. Might go inside because it's just a little bit cool. Pretty good. Okay. Yeah, this has been a little process waiting for this. So I had to notch for under the window. Oh, that is beautiful. Good, 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 good. All right. Have about a quarter inch play there. About a quarter there. So there's, what I'll be doing is I'm going to silicone all the way across, under, through there. There'll be a trim piece that comes down on top that's the, uh, that matches the trim. <laughs> and so, one thing that didn't get ordered was screws. Uh, I just ordered them. Wouldn't you know it? So these are sort of quasi-temporary. Oh, actually, that lo that looks pretty nice. <laughs> Love to see what the colorolo colorologists say. Boy, that really dresses it off. Looks pretty good. I'm trying to do these symmetrically, so I'm lining them up with all of the trim pieces here.
So this is what I was talking about in a previous video about why I couldn't have these turned over. I would like to have had these on the top, but the the roofing would be in the way where I wouldn't be able to get the barrel bolt up and it would leak. That would be a bad situation. So that's why I had to do that. There it is. I'll go around and put the other one on and then uh, I'll work on putting the trim and silicone to trim that out. The last thing I'd like to do is show you the, the uh, Wainscott panels, pl uh, planks that I'm going to be using inside the Vardo. They just, they're a tongue and groove. They just lock in like that. I think they're a quarter inch thick. Let's see if I can hold this. It'll be a lot easier up against the wall. They, they fit in really well. <laughs> Come on, don't make me look bad. So I'll be able to do it with a ceiling in there as well because you can flex these so it's going to match. Uh, it'll go at an angle around the, the roof or the ceiling. Should look really good. I've already stained some of them. So I'll show you the stain that I'm going to use. You can see the difference. It's um, a cedar. That is going to look really nice in there. Like that. And like I said, it, they, I'll be able to crown it on the ceiling. It should be pretty slick. So as soon as I can get that insulated in there, I'll be starting on this. And that's going to look really nice. So hey, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Hey, uh, leave a comment and hit the like button if you want. And if you're not a subscriber, I would appreciate it if you'd subscribe. Thanks a lot and have a good day. See ya.